out. <laughs> but you think that I'm some kind of a pushover, don't you? Yeah. Well, then you're in for a little surprise. Because, because if you push me, then I just might have to push back. Hard. <laughs> Come on, you can't carry that off. I know. <laughs> that is out there? 54 Chevy. <laughs> That's my town, Mary. Minneapolis. M-I-N-N-I-N-N. <laughs> well, a groundbreaking actress becoming a sitcom sweetheart. Mary Tyler Moore has died at the age of 80. And hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us. I'm Jeff Bassett. And I'm Kelsey Carlson. You know, the beloved TV icon remembered as a fearless visionary who turned the world on with her smile, of course. Fox 9's Jack Heiberger live with how Moore's show made a star of Minneapolis as well. Jack? Well, you know, guys, she really was a larger-than-life figure. And tonight, many in the Twin Cities are mourning her loss. Who can turn the world on with her smile? It was her role as Mary Richards that would put her on the map. Independent, funny, and always on the go, she quickly won the hearts of thousands. I think at the time, she was a figure in television that we really hadn't seen too much of before. She was single, and she lived in, in a business environment. Fox 9's Alex Kendall among countless young women who would fall in love with the Mary Tyler Moore show. Set in Minneapolis and running for seven seasons, the show would become an instant classic. I think the success of the show was what really drove more production of more shows showing women in professional, you know, in professional occupations. A native New Yorker, Mary Tyler Moore, was soon adopted by Minnesota. A statue featuring her iconic hat toss, now a permanent part of downtown Minneapolis. I witnessed many times where people would be uh, taking a picture right next to it, throwing their hat up in the air just as she did. The Kenwood Parkway home among dozens of locations featured in the show drawing thousands of tourists every year. But her impact was not limited to the arts. Diagnosed with type 1 diabetes at age 33, Mary Tyler Moore becoming a voice of hope. And she spoke out and she let the world know, don't give up, you can do this, you can accomplish what you want, even if you have type 1 diabetes. And it was her never-ending optimism that inspired thousands. Yourself and to celebrate yourself. Making Mary Tyler Moore an unforgettable part of Twin Cities history. She was lovable and smart and opinionated and, and you know, you're always rooting for her. But... And guys, her work does live on. Her show airing on many channels to this very day. Reporting live in Minneapolis, Jack Heiberger, Fox 9.